It's gonna be a good, good morning. A good, good morning meeting. Yeah, we're 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 Good morning, Mustangs. Here is some important information when we are practicing our safety and disaster drills that you need to keep in mind. In the case of a fire or fire drill, what should students do? When you hear the alarm for a fire drill, don't panic. Make sure you follow the instructions of the nearest adult. It's important you stay calm and quiet because you need to hear the instructions of the teacher. When directed by your teacher to evacuate, walk in a straight line and stay with your teacher at all times. Walk quickly, but do not run. Follow the route to the evacuation location. Your teacher may need to change the route for everyone's safety. What's most important is you walk quickly and quietly with your teacher who will be holding an orange sign with their name and classroom number as you walk to the lower field. An actual emergency can happen at any time. That's why we practice drills during lunch and passing periods. If you hear the alarm during lunch or a passing period, don't panic. Again, be sure to follow the instructions of the nearest adult. Walk quickly, but do not run to the lower field which is our assembly area. When you arrive at the lower field, look for the orange sign of your next period teacher. Of your next period teacher. Final tips to remember. If a drill happens while you're in class, leave all your belongings in the classroom. They will be safe and secure. Keep calm and listen carefully. Always walk quickly and never run. Never have your cell phone out, and remember to absolutely take our safety drills seriously. Hey Meadowbrook, this is Sam with the exercise of the week. In order to do a bicep curl, you want to have your 200 pound weight like I do here and have your arm all the way down. Slowly tilt your hand into a 45 degree angle with your weight. This is how you complete a bicep curl. This was Sam with the exercise of the week bicep curls. Have a great day, Meadowbrook. Welcome to the Mustang Meetup, and we are gonna be interviewing Mrs. Walsh today. She's our vice principal. So take it away, Paige. Do you have any hobbies? Um, yes, I do. I am a runner, I love playing tennis, and I also play the piano. What is it like at the school for you? Everybody here is super friendly. We're like one big family. I have a great uh, support staff here. The teachers are amazing. All of the, everybody here on campus has been super nice to me since I've started. If you could have any other job, what would it be? Um, a travel channel host. If you can go anywhere in the world, where would you go? I love to go to Ireland. So right now, I, if I could go to Ireland, I would be back there in a hot second. <laughs> Thank you, Paige, for that interview. I hope you get to know our vice principal better. And that's the Mustang Meetup for you today. Ah! <laughs> Good morning, Meadowbrook. This is Jack with a few words of wisdom. In his dictionary, Mr. Webster defines intelligence as the ability to learn or to understand from experience. Every single one of you is capable of learning and understanding from experience. So we know that every single one of you is an intelligent human being, right? Now that we've established that, listen carefully to these words which come from the Hindu faith. Those gifted with intelligence should always treat others as they themselves wish to be treated. This, of course, is the golden rule. Again, which, you know by now, is a universal rule found in all the world's religions. And because all of you are intelligent human beings, this rule, according to the Hindu faith, applies to everyone here with no exceptions. So today, 
Be the intelligent human beings you are and treat others only as you would wish to be treated. With something to think about, this is Jack. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. and I am here with a few of our ASB commissioners. I'm Vanessa, I'm one of your ASB commissioners, and my favorite thing about Meadowbrook is definitely the people. Hi, I'm Chase, one of your ASB commissioners, and my favorite part about ASB is planning school events. Jaden, I'm an ASB commissioner, and my favorite part about ASB is meeting new people. Everybody in ASB has helped to make the school a better place, a better community, and overall a great place to learn. We can't wait to have a great year with you guys. Bye, Mustangs! Why are you running? I'm training for cross country. What's that? It's long distance running. Can I join cross country? Cross country is for everyone. Find Mr. Two in room 122 during lunch. Unete a nuestro equipo de corredores. Good morning, Meadowbrook. If you ever have any questions or comments, you can write them down on a piece of paper and put it in the MB mailbox. MB Mailbox is located in the back of the quad by room 501 and by the Mustang Market. You can also give shout out to your friends and teachers. Make sure the writing is on the paper is legible. If Mr. Ismay's room is locked, then put your pride cards in the MB Mailbox. Thank you, Meadowbrook. Good morning, Meadowbrook. This is Mia with the word. The first word is administration. The definition of administration is the people who manage a company or institution. An example sentence is, the administration of Meadowbrook can be found at the office. The second word is effect. The definition of effect is to do something that produces the change in someone. An example sentence is, help is being sent to the areas affected by the floods. This is me with the word up. Bye, Meadowbrook. Hello, Mustangs. Today we'll be filming the best of the week. That's part of your week. Uh, catching up with my friends. Nice. Drinking the chocolate milk. Nice. What was the best part of your week? Being interviewed right now by Meadowbrook News? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Wow, it sounds great. <laughs> the best part of my week was getting to see all my friends at school. So the coolest part of my week was the carnival. That was pretty fun. I think mine was lunch and walking to my classes. Um, mine was probably the food because it was really yummy. The best part of my week was playing football on Saturday. The best of my week was acing my science test. The best of my week was getting these sick tats from Caitlin. That's best of the week. Bye, Neverbrook. This is a reminder that the mindful moment will begin after the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you for watching the Meadowbrook News. Please stand, face the flag, take off your hats, put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.